So this was an interesting article to me, and I thought, well, I'll just go over that real quick. So what's happening? Matic Network, a smart contract platform, acting as both a layer one and layer two for Ethereum, announced on Thursday the full launch of five Chainlink price feeds that are set to power its ecosystem. So if you're not familiar with Chainlink, it really just pulls in uh, outside data into the blockchain because blockchain sucks. They can't do that. It's just not that. That's not what it's designed for. So it has to pull out outside data. Now, what's great about Chainlink is that you can use multiple points instead of just having one point to pull in a, a price feed or a temperature or a whatever contract because it just can't. Uh, if you just have one price point, that's one point of failure, which someone can hack and really screw up everything. So with Chainlink, you can use as many as you want to, many different price points and aggregate get that information to get the right uh, uh, right correct info so Matic's got five Matic now features five price feeds Matic USD USDC USD Ethereum USDT and all that stuff die which is great right the more the better Chainlink's verifiable randomness function is set to be integrated soon as well which would allow Matic app developers to build provably fair chance games or other integrations. I think this is the big thing that people leave out, which is all the development that is potentially going on at Chainlink. It's not like they just wrote two lines of code. Someone told me that they, they wrote two lines of code and that's it. That's all they've ever done. They made billions of dollars. I'm like, I don't know if that's really how it works. So when I hear about these things, about things that are going on behind the scenes, it makes me even more bullish. Do I understand it 100%? No. That's why I haven't uh, sold my house and put it on the chain link. I'm just hedging my bet. So moving down, Sandeep Nelwell, co-founder of Matic Network, told Cointelegraph that Matic's hybrid approach is already generating interest, despite many being critical of Plasma as a solution for smart contract scaling. I remember when Plasma was like the next big thing and then nobody used it. Now all of a sudden Matic came back and said, yeah, we're using it. The viability of Plasma for DeFi is a hotly debated topic, but there is no other Plasma implementation in production apart from Matic. And turns out that in production, it works fine and has not encountered any issues after four months of launch of mainnet. So that's pretty good to launch a mainnet. It's really great to have it at four months, but you know what's even better? Have it four years, 10 years, 13 years. So as time goes on uh, and there's no flubs and no errors, which would be pretty uh, ridiculous to think about, no major errors, then I think this project will do quite well. Uh, he argued that the flexibility of Matic, letting developers choose between Plasma and proof of stake, can entice different types of developers. Many apps like games, VR space, and pure POS, while some DeFi and prediction markets choose Plasma, he added. Matic supports Ethereum tooling and allows developers to simply pick up their Ethereum smart contracts and deploy it on Matic sidechains within a matter of minutes. Now, well said. And there was one thing that uh, I did an interview with Richard Hart, and he talked about how, how great Ethereum was. Uh, I mean, he talks about how Hex was murdering uh, Ethereum and Ethereum was murdering uh, Bitcoin. But one thing he did say, which is interesting, he says, you know, Ethereum is great because it's like a plug and play option. You can, it's like a, you can write your story and Ethereum is the typewriter. And it's really a lot easier to start with a template. And he says, if you've ever, you know, built a website, it's much easier to start from a template than from scratch. And that's very true. So if Matic is, uh, is offering that type of thing to developers, so much the better. And Again, if they're integrating Chainlink and that works out, great, because I own Chainlink. I don't own Matic. Uh, maybe later, but uh, this is a good article, I think. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on to Ian's prediction. 